Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching some people do some very interesting hair coloring techniques. People love to make things as complicated looking as can be for social media so that your mind is just like, what is going on here? And I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of that today. Wait, what? I'm gonna dye her ends right now with these colors, okay? Just like that. And we're gonna let all the water drain out of the sink and pull the hair up. Beautiful paint is going to sit on the ends of her hair. So we get good colors here. Look at those. I like to get a little bit of speckles. If this actually works, I'm gonna be so impressed and actually think this is the coolest thing ever. Hold on, I'm very intrigued. By just barely holding it like that. Speckles are nice. Yeah. You like yellow? I love yellow. Okay, good. Absolutely. There we go. See that? Mm -hmm. Burn. That's really beautiful. So she's hydro dipping this girl's hair. I've only seen this done with shoes, never with hair, and I am so interested to see the result. I hope my mind is blown. You said you like the hot pink best? Yeah. Okay. Great. But I'll add what am I watching? To our sink, okay? Breaking a little bit, and we'll fill that back in, okay? No, we, I think you just drain it and just do it, right? Okay, all right. I just, yeah, Great. look at that, okay. All right, here we go. Um, um. And then she'll stand up, and then this is just gonna be beautiful hair like this. What the fuck was that? No, how dare you scare me like that? I was so excited. I was rooting for you. I was really rooting for you and you did that to me. That was bad. That was a like, tragic. What? Please tell me that spray paint did not actually stain her hair like that because that was horrible. Horrible. Don't ever do that to me ever again. I'm offended. So as some of you may know, I recently tried to lighten my hair with lemon. And well, long story short, my hair is now ginger. Rather than trying to like box dye my hair, which will definitely ruin it. I thought we'd try and dye it with coffee because to be honest, I'm quite desperate at this point. I don't want to be ginger anymore. I think I've tried this before. I made a video of dyeing hair with coffee, didn't I? And I think it didn't work, but it might have. I don't remember. I'm intrigued. Supposedly you just make a really strong cup of coffee. Which, funnily enough, I happen to be allergic to. Which I then get to rub into my hair. I'm sorry, you're allergic to it? <laughs> Wait, what? Well, that's gross. I actually might have reached a new low on TikTok. I didn't even think this was possible. Look at this. What is this? Anyways, I guess it's now time to wrap up. I'm starting to realize this might not be a very good idea. Oh, well, if it doesn't work, I'll just shave my hair off, I guess. Anyways, I've got to wait an hour now, so I'll see you in a bit. Why does it just look more ginger now? That's disgusting. All right, well, panic's over. My hair's actually all right now. <laughs> It actually looks so much better. Wait, is coffee the new T18? Is that what we just saw here? Like his hair actually looked more um, ash toned than it did before. It actually like, pulled the whole look together. How did that even happen? Also, I'm sure that coffee on your head just feels so disgusting and I don't ever want to do that to myself. One time I did put eggs in my hair and I'll tell you, never again. Don't ever, ever put eggs on your hair. It is the most disgusting feeling. That has nothing to do with coffee, but don't put eggs on your hair. How did she end up with that? How did she go from that to this? Whatever you just did was so good and I want to be able to do that. It makes sense, right? Cause she elevated the hair into these ponytails and then she painted everything at the same height. So then when she lets it down, it's gonna give her like a diffused look, just like a very slightly diffused look to the lines. And I think that is a great idea. Very strange technique, but very great technique. And I love it. The outcome was magical. This whole look is perfection. The color scheme, the application, the everything was there. It is iconic, 10 out of 10. Hold the damn phone, girl. How did you end up there? Where did you go from that to this to this? What, where did, where, 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 what am I missing here? Something is not adding up for me, for me personally. How and when and where? First of all, you put the, sorry, this is mean, but you put the ugliest colors on that head. Those colors mixed together are gonna create brown dookie doo doo. And I saw you mixing it together. Is she okay? Who is this in the sink? I know for a fact those colors would have made a dookie doo doo color and it did not on that girl. And honestly, at the end, her hair makes zero sense to me. How did it 
become blue? Where did the blue come from? Because I didn't really see blue in there, did I? Nope, I did not see blue. I saw a lot of green and yellow, but no blue. And it looks cool in the beginning, but then everything went south. Y'all tricked me. Y'all really did that. Y'all will do anything for a view these days. You'll, you'll trick me, you'll upset me, and... I just don't believe it anymore. I don't believe anything. TikTok's giving me trust issues. The bubble technique? I have not tried it. So interesting. She's layering different colors directly on top of each other. So she doesn't care if there's bleeding or anything. I wonder how this is gonna look. I would never think to do this. The colors are really pretty. The combination she's doing is magical. Is that real? You can actually put these colors on top of each other and they don't bleed at all. Oh, the colors don't bleed. Oh, I didn't know that. That is insane. That was a really cool technique. That was valid. That was really, really cool. I've never seen anything like that. The way she just layered the color right on top of itself and it still came out like this. What the hell? This finished result is incredibly stunning. I'm obsessed with this. How did we get there though? Like what? Also, what is the bubble technique? I thought she was gonna like splash the bubbles on it. I thought she was literally gonna pull out a bubble wand with color on it and just start <laughs> is that too much for social media now? Is that, I don't know. Maybe that'll be my next video. Start to come up, start to come up. And look what we have here. An American flag stuck to your hair. Is it and now, good? yes, it Can looks. Can I see a mirror? It looks. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, you like it? I love that. Oh, you love it? That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, okay. Well, let's get you dried up and taken care of. I How think that's really good. Oh, this was. Oh, this was 650. <laughs> Oh no, I know this is satire. What was the goal here? <laughs> he kind of did the damn thing. He got that American flag on her hair. I've tried hair tattoos before and it did not work. <laughs> and listen, if he's making people pay $650 for that, slay. More power to ya, you know? Go for it, get that bag, baby. <laughs> Obviously he's not actually making people pay for that, but that was a great video. And I can just imagine the amount of people watching this video being like, that is real. Like, yo, you had them fooled. There was a half million people who liked this shit. Um, don't ever do this. The hair tattoo thing, it's a struggle. I don't recommend it. It's a bad idea. And this was just tragic looking. It's like saggy American flags attached to her hair. Like at least put a cute American flag on there, like right in the center of the head or something. I don't know. Now that I think about it, just don't. It's never gonna be good. I love the determination. He's like fully grabbing her head. He's like lifting her up slowly, like making sure this shit sticks. Like I'm impressed. Okay, I definitely did this technique when I was a kid. We would sit in class and just color each other's hair. And actually, I think it did stick. It wasn't permanent or anything, right? It's just like a semi-permanent color, basically. It lays on the top of the hair surface, so it's gonna come out. So you can technically sharpie color your hair if you really want to. I think it's gonna be very annoying and difficult to do um, because you have to do such a little amount of time, but you can definitely do this. I like the moment in the bang, the blue and the pink. I think these girls are living their best life and I can appreciate it. Or we could just use actual hair color. But also, you might not have it just laying around your house. So I, I don't, I feel like this is just a great idea. <laughs> I should not be saying this is a good idea because then people are gonna start doing it and then it's gonna be all my fault when it turns out bad. And I'm sorry in advance if you try this. It kind of seems fun. It's just me. I don't know. Mm, I would do it. It's a very unique placement of color, I must say. Like the swoopy bang, which is the two pieces within the bang of the color. Like it's an interesting moment. It's an interesting concept. The art direction was there.
Okay, what? How did we go from that to this? What in the hell? Crepe paper. I don't even know what crepe paper is, but I'm guessing it's a highly pigmented paper with a lot of ink in it. This is interesting, and I don't know why that worked out so well. Her hair looked so shiny and great. Like that purple color was magical. Are you kidding? Look at that. So she cuts the crepe paper. She puts water in it, and then she just soaks the hair, and apparently it, it colors the hair to this magical purple color. Listen, I'm all here for this one. Oh my god, she looks good. Like that hair color looks good. I'm sorry, I would think that's professionally done. Do whatever you're doing again. I would love to know how long this stays in your hair for. If anybody knows, let me know down below. Because this is like really cool. Should I be trying crepe paper? Should you want to see me try crepe paper? Um, I will. Okay, right away, this is my type of hair color. If I could get my hair colored like this while laying down, it would be such a fun win because I hate getting my hair colored. Like I get so bored, I'm tired and I wanna take a nap. And this way you can nap while you get your color done. Could you think of anything better than that? Napping and color at the same damn time. No, there's nothing better. But will this come out good? Hello? Are you not gonna show me the end result? Ah! Oh, it's one of those videos where they don't show you the end result. Oh, I hate it so much. I'm like looking for the end result. I can't find it. That is so irritating. I'm so mad. I'm so upset right now. They didn't show the results of that one. You guys are sick because you know I wanted it and I didn't get it. And now I'm gonna be frustrated for the rest of the day because I just wanna know, did that look good or not? I can imagine it did look good, but we may never know. So many questions, so many questions. Okay, so how, where did you get this person to, to let you do this to them? Second of all, you just dropped the color all over her head, like dropped it. It must feel kind of cool as the client though. And also like it looks like fun as the hair colorist, like imagine just dropping it on your head and then just like that's the kind of color I want to be doing. <laughs> and then why did she come out with this pastel purple tone? Where do we get to that? I don't know, man. Y'all did some trickery, some witchery, some witchcraft on that. I like I liked it, I was intrigued by it, but then the outcome made no sense and now I don't believe you. I don't believe anything you do, but I definitely wanna dump color on somebody's head now. I don't know, man. That left me with more questions than answers and that left me wanting to try so many new things. That was cool. Or was it dumb? Or was it both? I need to be more creative with my color. There are so many possibilities. That's what those videos just taught me, that there's just endless possibilities of coloring techniques and I wanna try them all. <laughs> Anyways, if you wanna check out my hair color or my hair care line, you can do so with the links down below or you can go to, or you can go to xmodohair.com. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.